Hello guys, welcome back to sunny South Africa. As you see, very sunny. <laughs> There's the sun. Um, yeah, let me let me tell you a little bit about my weekend. Uh, last week was pretty much the week from hell. Um, didn't get the job that I went for. Um, my license had expired. I needed to go rewrite that. It was uh, it needed to go rewrite my license. And uh, sadly, didn't get it the first time, so I had to go back and do it again. Very embarrassing. And then, to add insult to injury, um, Lady Jedi's sister had been hit by a car, taken off her scooter. So on Wednesday, um, last week, Lady Jedi went through the nail spray to go and help her sister and you know give her moral support and all the rest of it leaving me all alone very lonely so anyway wednesday goes past thursday goes past friday i go to the bar on my way home and one of my friends is there and uh, says to me you know what there's a couple of bob um just go through so i accepted the the loan and uh, Saturday morning, four o'clock, woke up and drove through to Nelspray. Got there eight o'clock in the morning, which is not bad, four hour ride, through some of the most beautiful twisty roads you have ever seen in your life. Was there for about two hours and then had to come back. And I'll carry on with that story shortly. Got into Nelspray was there from 8 until 10 and then uh, had to drive back now of course Lady Jedi couldn't drive back with me because she had already paid for her bus ticket so um, I decided well you know what I've got friends here in, in Nelspreet and I've got friends in Leidenburg I'll go through and visit them and I did and <laughs> drove through what has to be the best stretch of road if you like twisties and the terror of falling off a mountain the Long Tom Pass and if you want to see that ride I will put a link to it in the description and it will go public eventually or it will go public anyway but uh, I'll add the link in so that you can uh, click on that video so yeah on Saturday I managed to drive or ride solo for hmm, 700 odd 700 odd k's give or take and it's the first time that i have ridden that type of distance you know most of the time my little breakfast run out to harbiaspur dam you know 90 k's there 90 k's back whatever 120 depending on which road you're taking and uh, Krugersdorp and Klagsdorp and all these little dorpies. So this was my first real, you know, big ass, heavy duty ride. And I did it with an R6, a 14 year old R6. So I'm very impressed. And just on a quick little side note before I say goodbye, and that the 
only reason why I could have done it was thanks to EB's Racing here in Centurion. A uh, chap by the name of Yevon. He is the only person who I allowed to work on my bike, apart from myself. And he knows more than I do, so he lands up doing most of it. And I am too lazy to take off all the plastics and the fairings and all the rest of it. So yeah, he pretty much does everything on my bike. And if it hadn't been for the confidence that having my bike with EB's Racing had given me, I don't think I would have done it. So, big thank you to EB's Racing. I'll put a link to their Facebook page up here. If you're in Pretoria, if you're in Centurion, in Gauteng, wherever, and you want your bike to be reliable, take it to them. This 14-year-old bike has just proved itself, and it's the best testimonial that I can give. So, anyway guys, until next I see you, uh, keep the rubber side down, the shiny side up. Take care of those you love, and may the force ride with you. Cheers.